project is going to be this marquetry box right here. We're going to create four four by six marquetry pieces on the laser cutter and then glue them together. Um, and then we're going to cut rabbits on the top and bottom and put them in here out of hardwood. So here's the marquetry glued onto a support board. It's quarter inch thick and then quarter inch manufactured lumber to support it. Cut with miters, a rabbit bottom that's glued in, a rabbit top that fits in the top, and then I use a CNC router to cut in that handle. So this is our next project, the marquetry box. Okay, so yesterday we laser cut all of our hardwood out into a four by six rectangle sur surrounding it, cut it out. We interchanged our pieces. We glued it up onto our piece of support board, a quarter inch MDF, and then we use that tape to clamp them. So I'm just pulling that tape off now. I like them to dry overnight. And now I'm gonna treat this board just like a piece of hard lumber, and I need to surface all six sides of it. So I'm not gonna use a joiner on this, but I am gonna rip it on the table saw. I'm gonna rip one side on the table saw, and then I'm gonna rip one side of this on the table saw. Then I'm gonna set my fence, it'll be a little bit less than six, maybe five and seven eighths, and then I'm gonna rip this side to make it parallel and clean, and this side to make it parallel and clean. So all four of my boards have identical width to them. And then I'm still not gonna cross cut them, I'm gonna keep them together, and then I'm gonna try and get this face completely sanded down. So I'll be surfaced on two sides, three sides already, and then I'll work on surfacing this. And then once this side is surfaced, then I'm gonna cross cut and cross cut, make sure all of them are identical measurements this way. Then we're gonna use the miter gauge on the table saw, set the table saw on a 45 degree bevel, and then we're gonna cut the miters on all of these sides. I made sure I had one straight edge, and that straight edge is the one that I'm putting against the fence here. And then I'm really just taking off just a little bit on this one side. Okay. Make sure you got your glasses on. Then I'm going to do the same thing on this board. Here's my straight edge. And overall width isn't really that important, but what is very important is that all four of your pieces are identical. And all four of my rectangles are surfaced on three sides. Now I'm going to go over to the drum sander and I'm going to surface this four side before I cross cut. Sander, there are two parts to the drum sander. This is feed rate in inches per minute. It's the feed of the belt. So this will drive that belt. I always go really slow. The second control is the actual drum. This turns it on and it spins and there's a drum in there sanding. You really want to take off a little bit of wood. This is a height adjustment on top here. I never take off more than, I, I, I turn, I come down less than a quarter turn, right? So it's less than a quarter turn per pass. The vac system is on top, so you have to have the vac on, otherwise that dust just goes back down in there. And then when you're completely done, it's hard to hear with the vac on. It's easy to leave, leave the feed belt running. You wanna make sure you turn it off, okay? So if you would please go ahead and turn the back on there and I'll run one more pass through here. That sounds like a heavy load. I'm gonna turn the feed rate down a little bit. Now it's just about four sides. So now I'm gonna cross cut and make sure all four of my pieces are exactly the same. So let's do that really quick. I really don't want to take off very much wood. And then I'm gonna surface this edge. So now I'm surfaced on five I'm surfaced sides. on six sides here, right? 
I'm flat to start with. I'm plain or drum sanded down, so I'm surfaced on two. Then my third and fourth sides are ripped. And then I cross cut to get a square side. That fifth side surfacing has to happen after this edge is straight. And that way you guarantee it's going to be perpendicular. Okay? So I'm surfaced on all my sides. Then I'm going to set my blade to a 45 degree bevel and then cut, cut my miters for my corners to go together. I'm going to do that with the miter sled. And actually, before I do this, though, I want to just do a test cut. So I'm just taking a piece of scrap wood. I have a firm hold of that. This thing locked down tight. Okay. So I cut my bevel there. And then let me just double see check that. that there's no play in that at all. So that's a nice bevel. And then I might as well check to make sure that I'm square this way too. And I am. So there's a lot of thinking to do here, right? So when I cut these miters on here, I want them to always have my face side longer than my back, right? So that means every time I'm going to have face side down. All I'm doing right here is cutting one, and I want to waste as little wood as possible. So I'm going to bring it right up there. I want to use this clamp to hold it down. This blade's coming towards my fingers, right? My fingers are on this side of the blade, that's where it's coming. I need to be really conscientious where my fingers are in that blade. Because now that line of blade is like this, right? So when you're on a bevel, you gotta be thinking even more. So I checked it, it looks good. All I'm doing is cutting my bevel on here. somebody get in here and touch all my setup, I want to do all of my, I want to make sure I do all of my sides. And if I got one cut at a different setup, I want to rerun it at this setup. Oh, look at that, I'm shorter than the other one. So I got to come down to all of the same length on all of them. So if this one's shorter, I got to cut them all down to this length. Everybody with me on all this? I'm cutting the, the miters for the box, and then you're going to take these, and then glue them all together like that my four pieces all perfectly the same size and I have my bevels cut. I want to put them together the way I, I want them assembled into a box. Uh, I want to kind of dry clamp them, make sure they'll all go together well. And then I'm going to open them up this way so I glue them up correctly. So I have them all upside right. I want to take some masking tape and lay it down sticky side up. And I'm just going to take the first, first board and put it down on here. These aren't really going to be very strong until I put the bottom in. That's what's really going to give it its rigidity. And then I'm just going to lay these right up. I'm spending some time to get it right. side. I do want to make sure I get the whole surface covered with glue. Lined up pretty well. Stuck to the tape and then I'm just going to pull these up. Fold them up this way. Then pull them together. I want to double check that they're all pretty tight, that all my miters are tight. The most important thing is that they're all square. So 
So I'm going to use the square. Double check it this way. That's square. Double check it. Yeah, so I'm square all the way around. These miters are tight. These miters are all tight. And then once I'm happy with it, then I, I'm going to put one more wrap of tape all the way around it and make sure all my miters stay really tight and that I'm square all the way around. And let that dry overnight. Then I'm going to use a piece of wood and cut it six by six with half inch rabbits all the way around, glue the bottom in and do the same thing for the top and then uh, finish and, and stain or finish in oil. Okay.